Ooh, what's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Let's see, where did that money go? Man, I didn't want to have to make that intro so long, the ooh, what part, because, but, uh, my screen wasn't loading. The emulator was thinking about something. I don't know, it was loading. <laughs> that was fun. Just kind of stringing me along there, huh? Hey, ah. over here! Yeah, there you are. Cha ching! Oh, you want some great stuff? Yup. <gasps> Thanks a lot. Yeah. Let's hope there's more where that came from. Oh, there's gotta be. Let's see, we've got 18 and 10. That is quite a bit of cash. Now, let's see. If I remember correctly, there's some interesting. Ugh, I'll hit your head now. There's some interesting things to be found on this other side of the map here. So we'll do a little tail twirl. And over here, there is an extra life. Make it, make it, make it. Yes. Bam. That may have actually been more than one, because I don't believe we had six before. But whatever. I think from here. We can jump back to over here. Yes. That works out. Alright, and then I think we're just going to want to head this way. Because this gets us out of the area a bit more quickly. You can see there's that pipe that we came out of the first time. Now there's this one. Fluke! This is actually the... Ooh, go on, go up. This is actually the area where you start going into those pipes. And so... Yeah, we're just going to want to go back out this way. So it's sort of sort of like an oblivion where they give you a shortcut back to where you came from when you reach the end of an area. Same thing here. And you see the exit is just down below because we're going to appear back in the poo cavern. Or the poo cabin, rather. Not sure how you fall into this hole and end up above where you fell from, but... Ah, video game logic. What can you do? Let's see, What what's next? Ah, yes. I got it. The hive has been stolen yet again! Possibly because the king bee is such a deadbeat and isn't there to guard the hive. I don't know. I think, yeah, in a, in a hive of bees, they're all male except for the queen. And so I guess if the lead male ran off, the hive might not work right properly. Well, I suppose we should go talk to the queen. I assume she's gonna want us to handle this for her again. Hello. I'm so happy to see you again! Oh, really? I'm happy to see you. Uh, hey, where's the hive gone? Oh, that's just the point! They've stolen it again! And I don't know what to do! Why didn't you use the machine gun turret? My hasn't returned yet! He's a fiend! If he were here, he'd sort them out! It's just gonna have to be somebody else! Oh, really? And who would that be this time, I wonder? Well, you did help us, time, and I don't know who to talk to. Okay, okay, but what's in it for me? Um, uh, uh, money? Yeah, but it'll have to be double last time. Uh, double? Uh, okay, yeah. Treble. <laughs> Treble? Okay. No, oh, base. Okay, I'll get it back. But where is it? Just follow the sides again, but you'll have to go a bit further. It was a deep insurgency mission this time. It won't be as easy, I can tell you. Really? Deep insurgency? Hmm. Quadruple. What? What? Oh, well, okay, fair enough. Oh, it's, hey, look, this looks quite nice over there. I think I'll go over here. Okay, okay, come back, come back. Quadruple. Um, that'll be $200. Hang on a sec, my math isn't that good. But I seem to think it was $400. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go on, wow, that'll be the biggest prize we've gotten from any one thing yet. Ah, finally a chance to pick up that one up there. I think that's the first time we've gotten that this time we this time through, if I remember correctly. Mm, maybe not, my memory's not that, not that good for events. I can remember facts and information pretty well, but events just slip my head, I don't know. Anyway, any at any point prior to this, if you tried to go into the hive, you would get attacked by this green guy, but now he just lets you in, I suppose. What fun! Ah, as you can see. The music gets quieter. I love that. We need to get up to where that hive is. A deep insurgency mission! If you remember last time, there was basically no problems at all, and then we had to pick up the hive, and then everything went sour from there. 
Oh, this looks fun. Here we go. Alright, now this part's tough. At the top part of the screen, you've got radar. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I forgot what button shoots. There we go. And then, uh, yeah, it's the left button, the Z button. Whatever that one is. But you see, at the top of the screen, you've got radar. And that's a big help, let me tell you, because these guys come from all directions. And occasionally, you're going to have to let the guns cool down. So there'll be some times when it seems like I should be sh Dude, you're going to go into circles. There are going to be times when it seems like I should be shooting, but I'm not. That's because the gun is cooling down. That's just what you have to go through. Now, try not to overcorrect. You see, when they start going in circles, you're going to want to start chasing them in circles. That's not the way to do it. There you go, behind me. The blue dots aren't bad. If they start turning into red dots, that means they're going to come in and try to attack us. Hopefully, I can prevent that from happening. You gotta be quick, though. Oh, mad I am? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't didn't want to fire for a little while there. Not sure what happened. Oh, here you. They start going in different patterns, too. So they can be harder to, to get them. Basically, you gotta cut in front of them. Go cut across their path. Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm gonna get hit. I'm not going fast enough. Okay. Now it's just a matter of keeping an eye on that radar. As soon as somebody goes red, turn and get them. No, seriously. Reload, reload, they're all in front of me. Okay, there I got that guy just turned red. This is tough, man. I gotta say, this game has, has, has its tough parts, and this is one of them. As you can see, I'm sort of turning in circles and just shooting at each V as I go by. Get that guy up. There you go. Before he gets too close. There's another. And last guy. Get out of here. You punk. Is that all? Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, let's do it! How did I get out last time? Jumped, okay. Give me the hive! Oh, it's these assholes again. I thought we shot them. Why is the big guy always the dumb guy? Ah, oh, you video game reinforcing stereotypes. But yeah, it's basically just as, just as easy as last time. Just keep running. As long as you don't stop, they're not going to get you. I, just, I guess it's just supposed to light a fire under your ass, but really, it's, there's no pressure at all. All you have to do is just hold the control stick down. And as long as you don't let go of it, you're going to get there. You do have to watch out on the way back that you go around and that one part with the grass, otherwise it'll slow you down too much, and you will get hit. But other than that, there's basically no problems at all. Yeah, here you want to stay on the path. If you deviate from the path, you might get slowed down by the, by the pile of leaves there. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, stay on the path, you'll be fine. It's pretty easy, honestly. That part with the machine gun is much harder than running the hive back. Much harder. And as we arrive, Knocker tosses it back into place. Alright, Queenie, let's see some turret action. For real this time! <laughs> Susie 9 millimeter. Um, Boom. Chew on this, buzz suckers. <laughs> that got him! Look at that smile. <laughs> I somewhat begrudgingly present you with these. Hey, somebody jump for us! Oh, Cha-ching! Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching! some of us throws? Yeah, most fun do it. Oh yeah! Doesn't get any better than that. I hope that's the last thing that happens to us. What could possibly go wrong now? Here's to a wonderful year. All right. See you later, Queenie, Queen Bee. Ah, uh, and now I do believe we have twenty-two one zero. When you reach this point, it's time to go talk to the barrel again. We finally have enough money to please him. 
All these worm guys. I, I've never figured out a way to, to defeat them. I've only ever been able to just run by. So, don't ask me for tips on this one. I just try to escape them as best I can. The more you do it, the better your timing will get. Dang. The same two guys got me last time. Get out of there, Conker. This guy just cut the inside. You can go right around him. All right. There you go. Now what? Huh. Wanna go for a ride? Uh, not really. Not really what? A ride. A ride, yeah. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Barrel ride. Hey! That takes care of those worms, doesn't it? <laughs> Get off of my lawn! Now what? <laughs> Watch out! Oh wow. I didn't even realize that could open down there. Oh jeez. Conqueror looks like he got a sustained a head wound. Holy crap. Oh, the night portion of the game. Things are getting serious now. I must have been out for some time. It's night. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> and now the genres have uh, undergone quite a shift from comedy to horror. We'll be seeing evidence of this quite soon. What do you say we travel downstream? <laughs> oh, oh, I love this part of the game. It's getting down to business. Taking care of business. What do, what do, we, what do we have to do now? Oh, Fight Goma? Guess I'm not going back that way. <laughs> that door closing behind me just reminds me so much of the DQ tree. There's nothing over there. We're gonna be coming back to that in a second. Oh, the heck are we watering? Like, what is this water green for? It was perfectly fine a minute ago. Okay. Hey, is that Greg over there? I think I see a sickle. Nothing to do here, huh? Let's see. Huh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, wow, look at this. That is hilarious. <laughs> Greg trying to get the catfish. They got nine lives, man. I don't bloody believe it. They've got fish versions of the little bastards now. Come here. I'll show them. Oh, I missed the little f***ers again. I got your number, mate. It's down to two for you. Ah, there's a waller. <laughs> yes, not long for you now, you little prick. <laughs> hey, Greg, how's it going? Uh, you don't want to you don't want to talk to me? Okay. I don't know if he will be there at all. Uh, if you haven't died yet. If he is there and you haven't died, I don't know. I've never made it to this point in the game without having died, so I couldn't tell you for sure. But I suppose you just have to... I don't know. I really don't know where you could even look to try and figure out what would it... Am I hitting an invisible wall? I do believe I am. Okay, not supposed to go this way. Alright, well, let's see. What area is next? I, I thought we could get back around to that area... Let's go downstream. Just swim a little bit. See what's down there. I don't think it would be anything bad. I don't know. I do, I like, to, I do like to explore things in this game. <laughs> People are texting me. It always seems like as soon as I start making a video, somebody texts me. And then when I don't answer, they're like, Dude? Did you get my text? What's up? It's like, oh, come on, man. Anyway, when you come back out in here, this is the area where I said we'd be returning to shortly. There's a lever up here. Uh, it opens the rather conspicuous gate you may have noticed behind Greg. Let's go back out there, see what there is to see. Oh, this next part of the game. This is also really where the difficulty ramps up. Uh, I gotta say, that machine gun part with the beehive just then? Not nearly as hard as the area that we're gonna go to in the next episode of Let's Play Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. I find this so funny. This is a perfect example of the humor in this game. Did Conker just shake the water off of himself? Wow. Attention to detail, my friends. Attention to detail. Quality content.